All right, everybody, welcome back to our unofficial guide to Wirecast. In this video, we are going to be going over NDI video sources inside of Wirecast. Let's do it. So here I have Wirecast open, but let me open up our presentation first because I want to go over some of the important things regarding how NDI works and what it's like to manage a local area network um, and how it all kind of gets together. NDI, there's actually a couple different versions of NDI. One is called NDI HX, which is the high efficiency, kind of lower bandwidth version. And then there's what some people are calling full NDI or NDI high bit rate. And we'll go over both of those today. But here's an example of an NDI system working. In the center here, we have a network switch. And in general, NDI will require at least a gigabit network. So gigabit is very standard nowadays. Here we are uh, in 2021 and gigabit networks are very standard. But if you have an older 10100 network, NDI is really not going to work for that. Luckily, gigabit is very standard and that means you have 1000 megabits of data to transfer between computers on your local area network, not the public internet, all of the devices connected to the network switch inside of your local area network. So if this was the entire local area network, we would have a main broadcast computer, a second computer, possibly a camera and an IP joystick. And that would be like four devices. So in most networks, maybe it's a school, maybe it's a church, maybe you're just have your own local area network in your home. There's multiple different computers connected to a server or really a router, an internet router that's provided to you by your internet service provider. And they're all connected with ethernet cabling. So at a high level, we've got a router and that comes from your internet service provider. There might be a separate firewall box or that might be built directly into your router. This is a network switch here and then connected to the network switch may be wireless access points represented by the circles here. And those extend your local area network to wireless devices as well. NDI does work on wireless. And in this video, I will show a wireless connection with my smartphone. We'll actually connect the NDI uh, app today and we'll check that out. But high level, I want to make sure you guys understand that your local area network is everything connected to your router, but really inside of your network. And then through your internet service provider, when you stream with RTMP or SRT now is becoming more popular to Facebook or YouTube, that's going outside of your network. Okay. So NDI really is local area network. Uh, and that is what it is used for. Here's a picture of our router here. Just to give you an idea, we have 150 megabits of download speed, 20 megabits of upload speed. So our router becomes the kind of manager of our local area network, all the devices that can get internet access through this router, but it also is kind of the gateway between the wide area network, the public internet in the outside world and our local area network where NDI operates. So just to it's kind of, this is a foundational networking, but I think this is important for everyone to understand. So I wanna walk you through what happens when your computer interacts with your router in order to live stream. I think this is an important thing to understand. Your computer is connected to your router and it says, hey, I want to go to Facebook. And your router says, okay, well, your computer is, has a local IP address. And we'll talk about that in more detail, but your computer is 192.168.1.71. As an example, it might be different. And I'll show you how to find that on your on a Windows computer, at least the computer I'm on right now, I can open up something called command prompt, type in IP config. You probably won't need to do this, but just to show you, this computer's IP address is 192.168.1.165. And so the router says, this is this computer, so the router is an IP address. And the router says, okay, well, you're requesting to go to Facebook. So uh, let me give you that information. The router goes to Facebook, says, hey, this computer on my local area network is requesting something from Facebook through the public internet and it sends it back. 
So you send a request out to the wide area network and then you download that request through your router. Now, um, when you're streaming, you are uploading and streaming out through your router to the, to the servers at YouTube or Facebook. And when you are viewing your stream on Facebook, just to test it, right, to see if it's working, you are actually downloading that feedback. So just to give you an idea of how everything communicates. Now, as you're working on setting up a NDI network, let's say for a few cameras with Wirecast, you should probably be managing an IP address table. And what that table is, a table of devices that have IP addresses, and we'll look at this in more detail in this video, of devices that actually connect to together and are able to share video back and forth. And that's what NDI is going to allow us to do. So the very first address is your router. And all the other addresses can basically be cameras, computers, printers, televisions, all kinds of things, and Wirecast would be one of them. So here's an example of a router with that very first address, 192.168.1.1. Let's say we've got uh, three computers, at .2.3.4 sequentially, and then we've got four cameras, let's say, and those cameras all have unique IP addresses, and th there's a joystick that has a unique IP address. In this scenario, you may want to manage an, a table that says, hey, here's the IP address and here's the device and here's what it does. And so that way, when you're connecting to things, you, know, you kind of have an idea of how many devices are on your network and how many IP addresses you have available. Now, NDI makes all of this super easy, but because this is a course, I want to make sure we go over at least the high level stuff. Most NDI traffic is multicast if you have a multicast enabled network, uh, but you may be using it in unicast. And essentially, uh, unicast is a single on demand stream to each space, whereas multicast uh, can actually broadcast to multiple places at the same time without incurring additional bandwidth. So, when we're talking about NDI in regards to Wirecast, we'll get to Wirecast in a second. We can hit the plus button, we can go to the network category, and we can get a list of NDI sources on our local area network. One of them will be the HuddleCam HD Pro IP. This is an NDI webcam that will show. We'll bring it right into Wirecast. Another one is just going to be my phone, which you could think of as an endpoint. This has an IP address. It's connected to the Wi-Fi router. And we'll bring them in and we'll look at them inside of Wirecast. So that's our next, our next thing here. So I'm going to delete the shot I have currently, and I'm going to bring it in fresh. So when we hit the plus button, we go to network. And when we're inside of the network area, we're able to just start literally populating all of the NDI sources on our local area network. Now, the nice thing about this is it could be another computer, right? It could be uh, all kinds of things that are on your local area network. It opens up so many opportunities, but the first one we'll add is this webcam right here that I have in front of me. So this is an awesome little webcam. This is a HuddleCam HD webcam. Very excited about this new camera I got for our studio because it's a 4K webcam. It actually has PTZ control, which is pretty cool. And this webcam is NDI. So that's our first NDI source. Now the next one, I'm going to pull up is going to be my phone. And my phone actually has an app called the NDI camera app. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and look for that app. It's just going to pop right up in this list. So just give it a second here. Might have to just pop this up one more time and we're searching for NDI sources let me see here do I need to hit the broadcast button oh yes I do okay you know what let me check one thing to check by the way is that you do need to be on your local area network so check your Wi-Fi settings up oh, it wasn't on well then it won't be able to communicate directly with your system. So that was actually good that we showed that here. Now that I've checked that I'm on the Wi-Fi, if I go back to my NDI camera and show that I'm broadcasting here, 
and I hit the plus button, my iPhone comes up, and there it is there. So now I have this live camera that is my phone, and I've got a totally wireless camera to use. So it's very high quality. This is coming in in 4K at 30 frames a second, you can see there, um, which makes it super you know, crisp and everything. You can use this as a secondary camera on your local area network. Um, let's see what else Wirecast shows us about this camera. Um, we have the ability to, you know, to change the size, the scale. We can digitally zoom it in and out. Um, we have the ability to set an audio delay. There is audio coming in with this. We have the option to change the bandwidth. So if we go to low bandwidth, uh, it gets a little bit uh, blurrier, but it's smoother. So you may need to do that depending on the network that you are in. We do have the ability to turn on GPU decoding. This will make it better as well. This will send some of that decoding to um, our graphics card that we have here. And so that gives you two examples. But I'll, I'll tell you, this video right here, which is hardwired, um, and I'll show that really quickly here. This video is hardwired Ethernet. That's going to give you a better video connection usually than your smartphone. Now, the smartphone's not bad, right? So let's show this again inside of Wirecast here. Low latency on your local area network, not bad at all. Um, you can see I'm actually using a Huddlecam Pro on that side as well. So there we go. We've added multiple camera inputs inside of Wirecast, giving you guys the look and feel of what you can do with NDI video sources on Wirecast. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.